It's one of China's latest technological achievements. The Fuxin bullet train, traveling at 350 kilometers per hour, making the Beijing-Shanghai trip shorter, more comfortable, and now tastier. With the touch of a button, passengers can order their food from the cities they will pass through, and the food will be delivered to their seats. The service by the China Railway Corporation was launched several months ago. Orders, though, have to be placed at least an hour in advance. Well, it's simple. You only need to open the China train booking app. Now, there are several options that you can choose from. And today, we're going to be making our order from the Nanjing station. And one of the most popular meals at Nanjing is the Nanjing duck. There we go. Now, my colleague, Hang Peng, is following uh, the preparation and delivery process at Nanjing station. The moment Jane made the order, the clock began ticking at his restaurant near the Nanjing railway station. Now it's only 60 minutes left before bringing the food to the passengers, and they are literally racing against the world's fastest train. And it's a relay race. The restaurant's kitchen is the first runner. This place used to be our dining area, but we transformed it into a central kitchen. Although we got rid of several tables, we believe we can make more sales by getting a lot more tables on the train. Then their couriers carry the food to the train station, where all the local orders gather before the last mile delivery. When the meals arrive, they are packed in different cases, sorted out by different restaurants. And when they leave this office, they are all packed in different cases, sorted out by different train numbers. And by the way, now it's only 35 minutes left. In the Nanjing South station, the train only stops for two minutes. Five minutes for repackaging, then it's the turn for delivery folks like Luo Deyou to run. He's the last in the relay, bringing the food from the station to the train. Each day he runs the same journey at least 20 times. Good news for him, the train has not arrived as he reaches the ticket checking entry. After all the hustle and bustle, we have finally arrived at the platform just a few minutes before the train. The train waits for no one. If we're late by even one minute, it means passengers will miss the meal, and we must pay the money back. So time is money. But Deyou says even if the passengers get the refund, it's still not a pleasant experience for missing a meal they've waited an hour for. He gives all the order to the train attendants, who will later bring the food to the seat of the passengers, including Jane's. No time for greetings before the train roars on towards Shanghai. Hey, Jane. Han, <laughs> you even get to deliver my, my dog. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you've been behind the scene. What was that like? You know, it's been really exhausting for us to follow the whole process because the system has been simply moving so fast and so efficient. Well, indeed, there's no doubt about the growing popularity of the food delivery service. And um, I can still feel my, my duck is warm. Let's just get to enjoy it. Certainly, let's dig in. <laughs> well, this is Han Pan and Jane Kyo signing off from the Beijing to Shanghai bullet train.